This screencast is going to demonstrate how to add sound to your PowerPoint presentation. So what you see in front of you is a PowerPoint presentation that I've created and it's about Steve Prefontaine. And to begin what you're going to do is go to the toolbar above and click on insert and then you're going to go to the right where you see sound and click on the down arrow and then you have four options in front of you you can uh, attach a sound from one of your files that you've previously saved or attach a sound from a Microsoft clip organizer you can play a CD audio track from a file that you saved or you can just record sound uh, using narration which is what I'm going to do so I'm going to click on that and a small record sound box will appear in front of you and where you see name and where you see what I've highlighted you can add a title to your record sound and I'm just going to add pre since that is what a lot of people used to call Steve Prefontaine and down here here you have the usual three options of play stop and record so if I wanted to record a small narration of Steve Prefontaine I could do that by just clicking on the record button here and that's what I'll do very quickly this PowerPoint presentation is about Steve Prefontaine who was a middle and long distance runner in the late 1960s and early 1970s when he ran for the legendary coach and Nike founder Bill Bowerman at the University of Oregon. Pre came in fourth at the 1972 Olympics in the 10,000 meters. Unfortunately, in 1975, at the age of 24, Steve died in a single car accident in Eugene, Oregon. And once I've done that, I can click stop. And uh, you see that the total sound length for the narration was just under 41 seconds and I can hit play to hear that to determine if I like what I've said and I think that went fairly well so I'll just hit OK and you will see a small image appear in front of you of a sound bar I don't know what to call that actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make that a little larger by clicking on this little part of the image where you see the outline and just pull that to the right making that a little larger and I may just want to move that down so it's out of the way not uh, in front of the pictures and uh, anything else so if I want to hear what I've said and make sure that the file has worked I can double click on this PowerPoint presentation is about and Montaigne. there you go it looks like it's worked so I'll runner. stop that uh, to save time and uh, there you go that's how you add sound to a PowerPoint presentation